welcome back to winemastery.co.uk. My name's John Whiteford and this is... John Murphy. And we're here to tell you all about wine, hopefully help you find the wine, if not the wines, that you will absolutely love. And in this episode, we're continuing our series on Chardonnay. And I have to say, John, well, I don't know what you think, but I've been really pleasantly surprised with the Chardonnays uh, that we've been drinking over the past few years. I, I think uh, we've had a episodes. good, varied um, different styles in there that really stood out. Uh, some for pe beginners, uh, some people who like it a little bit more. Yeah, it is, yeah, I've been quite, so, I mean, I like Chardonnay anyway, but there's been some crackers in there so far. Uh, absolutely, and you know, a lot of people have this ABC, uh, anything but Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. um, but, but then, you know, maybe I had a little bit of that uh, going on uh, because of Chardonnays that I've tasted previously and really not enjoyed. But actually, this series is, is teaching me that you know, there are some really nice wines out there uh, that are very worth trying. And in this episode, we are doubling up almost because uh, some of our videos on jam shed wines have been very, very popular, caused lots of comments. Um, and so we thought, uh, I spotted this one, a jam shed Chardonnay. And <laughs> you know, jam shed is all about jammy wines. And I thought, well, how can you apply a jammy theme to a Chardonnay? Well, I think we're about to, to find out. Indeed we are. Okay, so that, should we give it a little bit of a sniff on the nose? I'm, already, I'm ready for that, John, I am okay. ready. Oh, well, actually, we should look at the colour first, sorry. I, no, I was, I was going to go for that anyway, John. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, is, it looks a bit pale on this one. Don't listen to what I say, just listen to what I mean. <laughs> 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 He's obviously had a glass too many already. <laughs> <laughs> yes, boss. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> it's tickled him, hasn't it? <laughs> glasses of wine already. <laughs> right, let's get on. Let's get on. Let's get on. So the, the colour is, it is a little bit deeper yellow, that, that kind of Chardonnay colour. It definitely and has not, not quite as golden as some of the uh, Chardonnays. No. And, and I don't see quite as much green in there as I've seen. No, I'm with you on that Chardonnays. one. Yeah. But I said that very nice colour, nice sort of um, uh, lemony, um, light lemony colour. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a go on the old nose. It's time to go on the nose now, John. Oh, the nose. The nose. Does that, have I got like um, matchstick wood? Matchstick wood? Yeah, not, not the sort of the, the inflammable, bit, inflammable bit, but the wood, the sort of like the pine, is it made from pine? I'm not sure, very soft wood. In a strange way, I think I know what you're talking yeah. about. I think I do. Sort of like that, you know, when you get wood that's sort of quite soft and moist and... Damp. Yeah. This probably makes it soft. <laughs> Stick to the wine for now, sister. But yeah, I, d I do understand what you're talking about there, John. And I, I, at first when you said that, I thought, what's he going what's on about? Where is he going? Where is he going with this? <laughs> but it's not. It's quite light, it? though. It's quite delicate, isn't it? Yeah. It's not an obvious Chardonnay for me, in terms of, compared to others where you've gone, oh, Chardonnay, yeah. full stop. But this is, if I smelt that in a blind tasting, I'd be lost. Yeah, I wouldn't see, wouldn't scream out to me Chardonnay at all. No. Um, so I'm going to go straight ahead and have a taste. Let's have the taste. It seems like a a muted Chardonnay. I tasted it, I thought, where's the Chardonnay? Then I tasted it, and again I thought, yeah, I can, I can recognise it as Chardonnay. I'm not sure I would have recognised it as Chardonnay if I'd been blind tasting. Yeah, I know what you mean. For me, there's a sweetness there. Yeah. Which, and that, that's the first thing that hits me, a honey kind of sweetness, which I, I'll be honest John, I'm not a fan of that. The, the sweetness doesn't really, it's not my thing, but then it, as, as it comes away from that, and you, you then it starts to introduce a few of those kind of Chardonnay characteristics a little bit more. Yeah, and I guess obviously it's Jam Shed, and Jam Shed, uh, if you were, were linked to our other Jam Shed uh, uh, videos, but they, they are known for their sort of sweetness and their jammy uh, texture and taste. Um, so I, I get why they would they would go here with a Chardonnay. Yeah, I, it, I can see how a lot of people would like this. I could definitely get that. I can definitely, because it is, 
Stouts, it's, it's, it's none of that dry edge there, none of that, mm, the, the acidity's there, but it's not too, it's not too sharp in any way, shape or form. Yep. So you get that, 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 that sweetness and then leaning onto the kind of more tropical fruit melon, which you expect from a Chardonnay. I think as it stands, a glass of that would do me. Uh, I don't think I'd be able to, I think a bottle of that sweetness might just stay there too much for me. Well, funny enough, I was just thinking that if I just drive away the fact that I'm, I'm uh, you know, from my mind that I'm drinking Chardonnay and just think of this as a wine, actually, I'm the the sweetness rather sort of depresses and there is a little bit of acid, I'm just now, there's a little bit of acidity in the back of the, uh, the back of the mouth. So it's not all very, very cloy. There is a little bit of, uh, sort of, you know, a little yeah. bit of acidity there. So I, I understand where you're coming from. I'm probably not quite as um, um, hesitant on the on the sweetness. Um, I'm quite enjoying it. Mm -hmm. um, I think that this is an ideal. Well, I don't know about you, John, but I think this is an ideal Chardonnay for for those of you that prefer a slightly sweeter wine. Definitely. You know, because sometimes there is this sort of like, and it's very unfairly, and don't worry about it if other people say, because you enjoy, if you enjoy a wine, just enjoy it, don't worry about what other people say. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes there's this sort of snobbish thing, oh, it's sweet, therefore, you know, it can't be, you know, unless it's dessert wine, it can't be right. Um, if you enjoy something sweeter and you want to sort of try something that looks, you say, I'm drinking Chardonnay, and you think that that's going to be sort of more acceptable in the company you're in, this is getting very snobby, isn't it? Then. You know, it is, isn't it? No, yeah, it, well, it is, but as I say, I can understand how a lot of people would like that, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with liking it at all. I'm um, just in personally, that, that sweetness doesn't really suit my palate um, at all, especially from the, some of the Chardonnays we have been tasting. I would much rather prefer the, the, than this in particular one. Yeah, and so basically what we're saying here is that, you know, it's not to your taste, not nope. to say it's a bad wine. I think if you like a sweeter wine, you know, medium, uh, medium type sort of wine, this, this will be ideal. And, and sometimes maybe you've tried Chardonnay, it's been a little bit too dry for you, you haven't uh, enjoyed it, in which case try this, because I think you will really, really enjoy it. And to be fair to them, you know, it's called Jam Shed, you're not expecting yeah. something that's dry and yeah, yeah, yeah. you're expecting something that's, you know, got a little yeah. bit of sweetness to it. It was going to happen. It was going to happen. Mm -hmm. If you were trying, so bear in mind you don't particularly, you know, enjoy sort of sweeter wines, so if you were trying to match a cheese, pair of cheese to this, what, where would you go? I'm going to go back with the blue cheese, um, okay. purely because the, the, there's, a, there's a magic of the, the saltiness of a blue cheese re can really work with the sweetness um, of a white wine. Although this is a sweet wine as such, but I get that sweet um, at the beginning. So and I'm going to give you the, something like the Centre Go, which is, I was thinking about what you could find uh, supermarket wise, and Centre Go is definitely on the supermarket shelf. Centre Goa? Sent Agua. How do you spell that? S T Sent Sent Agua, A G U R Sent Agua. Okay, because quite often when I'm trying, to, I can't find these. I go, how do you pronounce that? Yeah, God, it's, it's it's a fairly obvious one. It's, I think it's like a green and cream foil on it. You'll see. You should see that in the supermarket shelf. So maybe we sell it as well. It's it's a, it's a nice bit of cheese, but I think that will take that on nicely. Okay, so main, uh, so you know, if you're going with a meal rather than cheese, I've, I've got a really strange one which I'd be interested to cross a pulse past you here, which is fish and chips. I never thought about that, John. Um, yeah, I can. I hold on. So if you what are you thinking with the sharpness of the? Because I'm thinking not just the fish or the chips, I'm thinking the salt and the minute that goes with that as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I see where you are now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that those two, you know, together and a little bit of vinegar in it and that this would, would actually match quite well. It would, it would. Well done, John. I'm, I'm quite impressed. I, and, and that's made me very curious now to think, oh, I want to try that and see what happens. But I'm on a diet, so I couldn't possibly. Are you on a diet? Well, until the weekend. Do you mean you couldn't tell, John? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> All this work for nothing. <laughs> no, but I would, I would, yeah, I'd be curious to see how that works. I think that'd be uh, it's funny. How did you come to that conclusion? I don't know. I just tasted it. And I think probably because uh, a week or so ago, I tried a dry sherry, which is recommended with uh, fish and chips, as is champagne with fish yeah, and chips. Yeah, I've had champagne. Yeah, uh, but, but dry sherry is also good. Dry sherry has a lot in common with uh, champagne. Um, so I tried that and I thought, oh yeah, this is really surprising. And when I was tasting that, I was thinking, what could I, and I thought, whoa, mm. yeah, 
fish and chips. Okay. So I must try that with fish and chips actually. Okay. Yeah, I th yeah, I think you should and, and report back. I will do. I will do. So the score. The score. Uh, now we need to know the, the price. The price is seven pounds again. Is this? So okay. that's, that's similar to what the rest of the Chardonnays we've tasted so far have been. Yeah. Yeah. So do you want me to go first? Yes. Okay. I'm going to score this at seventy-eight. Okay. You're going to score it much lower. I am. Now, I know you and I don't usually, uh, there's a couple of points between us maximum usually out there. I'm going to take this straight down. I think I'm being generous myself. I think I'm being generous considering, for me, it's not very Chardonnay-esque. For me, it's also too sweet. Um, the saving grace here is it's seven pounds, and I can see how a lot of people would like it. My personal score is going to go right down to, I'm going to go just even below 70 and say 69. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. You really... Uh, yeah, this really doesn't hit your buttons, does it? it that, that's the only. That's the only thing. It's, I'm not saying it, it's a bad wine in any way, shape, or form. I'm just saying my personal score on that is that because I don't like the sweetness. It, it doesn't really relate too much to a Chardonnay. But as I said, I can see a lot, a lot of people liking that. A lot of people. Yeah, I, I, I think they would, and I, I totally get where you're coming from. You know, it's not what you would classify as a Chardonnay. Uh, you don't like sweet wine, so obviously it's going to be down. Um, for me, I think the, uh, I'm thinking actually, to be fair, I, I, I was, when I was scoring it, I was thinking of drinking that with fish and chips and thinking that would be a really, really nice balanced wine uh, that I would enjoy with that. You are definitely going to have to try that with fish and chips now, don't you? I'm, definitely, I'm definitely going to have to try that. So that, uh, that is now a need to know. I, I yeah. cannot... And I, and I apologise to you guys that uh, maybe outside the UK and you can't sort of get battered fish and chips in the same the same way. Um, so I apologise for that. I, I can't think in terms of Chinese food, maybe this would would match with some Chinese food. Oh, you know the sweetness with yeah. some of the sort of sweet and sour dishes. Yeah, or, or even a, like, like ooh. It would have to be it would have to be the sweet and sour dish, wouldn't it? Because I'm thinking I love a chow mein, but I'm thinking I don't think that work well with the chow mein. Depending, oh, I don't know. This, I tell you what, if nothing else, is going to be an interesting wine for us to try with different foods. While we're off camera, before uh, we, when we come next time, hopefully, when we come we'll, next time, when we um, film next time, hopefully we'll have tried that jam shed with a few different dishes and that because that's very interesting. It might even put the score up if it, you know if it goes really well with. And I think that's the interesting thing, isn't it? Because you know, uh, in terms of wine, you can taste it on its own, but actually with food and the different combination of tastes. Oh, can yeah. bring it out, either bring the food out or bring the wine out into a whole different realm. And so oh, it's massive, it's, massive. Yeah, part, mm. part of the fun. Well, fantastic. Well, I really enjoyed that. I'm sorry you didn't. It's not, that, it. it's not that I didn't enjoy it, because I always enjoy trying new things. So, and it was good to, always good to try new things. So Always good to try new things. And I've drunk it, John. Yeah, well, I mean, it can't be that bad. So until the next time, guys, we really look forward to seeing you. We will be continuing with Chardonnay. There will be some more. We do have uh, on the library, you know, you can have a look at uh, um, the uh, collection of uh, videos that we've done on Chardonnay. Uh, take a look there. And obviously we have almost every other wine, including White Malbec now. It's White Malbec. Very surprising. Very have surprising. a look at that video. Absolutely. Until the next time, guys, see you there. Chin chin. Chin chin.